Hello and welcome to this latest video. Today we're looking at Vialogs. Well, what is Vialogs? Well, it's a discussion forum, a discussion platform based around video. So first off, let's have a look at some of the features and then we'll dive in and create our own Vialog. So I'm gonna search a particular topic. So I can just put that into the search box and then click search and I can look at Vialogs or I can look at videos and comments. So let's say we pick up this one So we can see there's been a question posed at the top and we can read more of that. That's your activity. And then we've got the students responding in relation to different points. And if we scroll down, we can see different timings related to when they were making their posts. So in essence, they can post a comment at a specific point in the timeline it then suggests suggested file logs below. So that's what it looks like, a great way to get students engaged. Today's students are very much used to making use of video and using video in their, in their learning. So let's dive in and create a file log. So we'll go back to the home page and we'll come up to the top and click create and then we can either upload a video and the following formats supported are MOV, FLV, MP4, MPG, MPEG, AVI, WMV and 3GP and it's a video of one gigabyte or less. I tend to make use of a YouTube video so I've copied a code to one of my videos. So I've got my video there I can then put in my title. Put in my description and directions. So I've got my question there and I could put in more detail if I wanted to. I can then set the visibility. So selective means I need to add people via email. Public is as it says. You can add a moderator if you want. So if you've got fellow teaching colleagues who teach the group, then you may want to add them as a moderator. And you can do that by using their username or their email. And I'm not sure why you'd want to, but you can disable comments. For me, obviously comments are the key part of it. And then you click create your VAR log. So you can enter a poll relating to it. So we could put in a multiple choice and we can put in the time that we want the poll to pop up. So we can really add some interactivity this, to this video. So we could set a particular time. So I could put in there, I want it to come in at two minutes. And then I could enter my question and hit post. And I can again, I can press play. Full stretch performance. I can then add a comment there. And you can see it's giving me the time code. So you could use it either as a discussion forum, and get the students to, to post their, their, their responses to it, or you could also use it as a way of highlighting specific aspects of the video. So students could potentially upload their own video and comment on that particular video itself.
so you could post in the comment and hit post and you'd see the comments are com coming up there so as they make comments they appear down the side and as I say it's a great way to get students engaged in really thinking about what it is they're watching uh, and, and potentially makes a, a much more interesting and engaging discussion so to share it you can just click on share there's an embed code so you could embed it into your web page or there's a link so depending on how you use it you can also share it via social media so if you use a, a college VLE you could embed it within that click on the, the cog we can access the settings to change privacy and add any elements to the description or the directions and info just shows us who's posted what so far so there you have it Varlogs a great way of getting students engaged actively in videos that you're sharing with them I hope you found the video useful keep watching keep subscribing and join me again soon for more edtech videos